Have you ever wondered how your brain stores and retrieves information? Memory is an incredible process, and it works in stages, working memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Each plays a unique role in helping us remember what we need when we need it. Let's start with working memory. This is like your brain's notepad. It holds information temporarily while you're using it. For example, when you're solving a math problem, you might keep numbers in your head for a moment before writing them down. Working memory is essential for tasks that require focus, like following directions or holding a conversation. However, it doesn't store the information permanently. It's designed to process things quickly. Next, there's short term memory, which can hold information for about 15 to 30 seconds. Imagine someone gives you their phone number and you repeat it until you're able to write it down or type it into your phone. That's short-term memory in action. It's like a storage room with limited space. Only a few items can fit in at a time. If the information isn't rehearsed, it's forgotten. Now let's move on to long-term memory, where information is stored more permanently. Unlike short-term memory, which is temporary, long-term memory can hold an incredible amount of information for years or even a lifetime. Long-term memory is what allows you to remember your favorite song, historical facts, or how to ride a bike. There are two main types of long-term memory, explicit memory and implicit memory. Explicit memory is the kind you consciously work to recall. This includes semantic memory, which holds facts and general knowledge, like knowing the capital of California is Sacramento, or that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Episodic memory, which is tied to personal experiences, like remembering your last family vacation or a big moment in your life, is also part of your explicit memory. Implicit memory, on the other hand, works automatically. You don't have to think about it. It just happens. For example, riding a bike or tying your shoes involves procedural memory, a type of implicit memory. Even humming a song you heard on the radio without trying to memorize it is an example of implicit memory in action. So how does information move from short-term memory into long-term memory? The key is practice and repetition. When you rehearse information like reviewing flashcards or repeating state capitals, you strengthen the connection between neurons in your brain. This process is called long-term potentiation, and it helps us retrieve information faster and easier. Other factors can also improve your memory. State-dependent memory means you're more likely to remember something if you're in a state that is emotional as you learned it. Similarly, context effect suggests that you recall information better if you're in the same location where you learned it. In summary, memory is a complex but fascinating process. From a quick processing of working memory to your temporary storage of short-term memory, and finally the lasting impressions of long-term memory, each stage plays a critical role. Whether it's facts, skills, or personal experiences, memory helps us learn, grow, and carry the past into the present.